Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials. And in this video, we are going to see how to use the page book with our REST template. And we are going to see that it will be one hell of workaround. So for that, uh, we are going to return here inside the anime controller, the endpoint the way it was. Then we are going to anime service and we are going to return to what it was before. So page over here, page over here, and page over here, and import this guy. Okay, so we are going to do some changes here, and uh, these changes they are going to affect. So something wrong here, dun, dun, dun. wrong package, domain. So what we are going to do now? It's uh, going to the Spring Client and we are going to remove some methods, uh, these ones. Well, you can remove these ones for now and uh, this one you copy and you also comment it out. So uh, now we are going to do one hell of workaround because uh, the way of the response that we have, let's uh, start the application. So if you go here, we have uh, our response, right? And uh, if you click on raw, and then you go to JSON schema to Pojo, to Pojo, you will see that it would be possible to generate something that would be exactly what the Jackson is waiting. So for example, I'm just adding this entire JSON here, and I can just uh, change the source type to JSON, and then I can preview. So these classes are the ones that uh, we would need every time we are going to map automatically using REST template. So some of them uh, sort, uh, for example, this one uh, sort as well. So some of them will be the same for all methods, uh, but what's going to change would be the the content. So in this case, we have anime and then ID, name, and uh, URL. But then uh, every time you create something, we would need to, to change this content. So it's possible to do it, but the workaround I'm going to do here, it's a bit cleaner. So for that, we will need to create a class. Uh, from, let's start with a package. Let's call this package wrappers. Wrapper, no S. And then uh, let's create a class called pageable response. So this page will response, we would like to apply for everything. And uh, this one should be a page implementation. So this is the page from uh, uh, Spring. So if you just go inside this class, you will see the first problem. We do not have a default constructor. So by not having a default constructor, Jackson will not be able to map things automatically. You would need to do some changes using some annotations like the one that I have here at JSON creator. So by using this annotation, you basically are going to tell uh, that this constructor should be the one that will create new instances for that class. So what are we going to do here? Well, we do have a couple things that we need to do. The first one is to figure out what attributes we are going to add there. So basically, all these attributes, pageable, total pages, last number of elements, everything needs to be available there. So let's go back and let's start creating these guys. So um, first, private boolean last, private int total pages, private int and then number of elements, we just copy this guy. Okay. And uh, we can use getter and setter. And it's complaining here, hey, you need to create a constructor that will match the super. That's why we cannot use at data right here. It's going to complain that we don't have the full constructor. So now the it would be pretty simple if this is everything that we had to do. So for example, if you try to go to Spring Client and then we change here 
to pageable response anime and pageable response anime we just trigger a breakpoint and then we execute this class on the bug mode so we are going to see this uh, first error that you can ignore blah, 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 connection exception okay this is the one I was looking for so basically this uh, pageable response it cannot be created automatically by the Jackson because there are no creators like the default constructor so what we have to do here so unfortunately this is um, one big workaround we have to use this at json creator and we have to tell here that the mode and we do have several modes available if we go json creator that mode the one we are looking for is the properties so basically this is the one that we are looking for that will um, indicate that the arguments for the creator are bound uh, from matching properties of incoming object value so what does this mean that we are going to create a constructor to uh, put all the attributes that we have available so json creator dot uh, mode dot properties okay so now that we do this there are a couple of things first one we have to use at json property otherwise it will not uh, find the property we are looking for even when the names are the same so uh, that is one let's leave this pageable for later because uh, I have to explain something about it let's use uh, some properties for other ones for example we do have a number int number uh, yeah, just duplicate several of them and then we have size size and then we have uh, total elements total elements we do have total elements let's check yes we do have total elements uh, number size total elements and then we can use these ones that we have here for example last first and total, total pages total pages so uh, i think uh, this is everything no not yet we do have another one that's the sort that we also need so for example here when you are creating a pageable you can create a sort that's in here sort sort so number size or elements uh, last first total pages one two three four five six we are only missing this one and um, you have to add the, this one right here page ball and then this one sort so the first problem that we have is that this one cannot be constructed so we have to build this page request the same way we did here somewhere was not the handler was the configurer so we had to create a page something like this so page request dot off and then the the page actually the page is the number so let's check here so number zero it means that I'm on page zero and then so let's uh, page equals one and um, size equals three okay so the number is the page so number and size is size ah uh, i forgot one we do have toro here do some property toro and now the just added the everything else because the constructor 
super only requires this one and uh, the page request here you can see that we do have sort uh, but sort honestly I don't know what to do yet I have to figure out for the next video so last these dot um, I'll figure that total pages total pages actually last is boolean so this one is boolean this one is boolean okay last first first total pages and then number of elements and, uh, we have total actually total elements and total so it looks like uh, we don't have total only total pages total elements so total elements is total elements right here and total pages is total pages we don't have total pages here so this one is not required okay so now we are building this guy and um, let's try to execute the spring client so it will fail because it cannot build the page boy again so to figure out this problem because both sort and page but they don't have uh, this uh, default constructor we can use a json node from jackson basically this will wrap with raw json and uh, let's debug again okay this is a new error that i don't know why it's it's happening i think using the static is not helping at all there you go so now we have this uh, response entity this response entity is being wrapped inside a pageable response you can see here inside the body that we have uh, total pages 2 number of elements 5 this is data is coming from web mvc configurer uh, total 10 uh, it makes sense to have two pages content 5 we can see five uh, animals here and then we have here the pageable so we do have here unsorted because we are not uh, passing any sort for this but uh, even if we sort you will see unsorted but it will still work so for example we can add sort um, name descendant uh, and let's see okay there you go so if we check the body and the content we will see that we have uh, the enemy is being sorted by name but when we check here the pageable we still don't see um, the values and so, so I like as sorted here so what we have to do it's a uh, figure out how we can get this uh, sort data so this is something that i still don't know how to how to do it and another thing that is missing from this guy is this this some sort that yeah we have to to figure both of these out so we have to figure out how to get this sort and send here as a page request well so i think that's enough for this class as you can see we can send any value here so we are sending an anime if we, we had another type of object we could just send it here so this is everything that I have to tell you for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.